Plus, sneak peeks at what's coming next. With so much going on in the world of daytime, it's easy to miss a story or two, including some of the biggest ones unfolding on screen. Fortunately, we've got you covered with our guide to everything that went down last week on Days of Our Lives, General Hospital, The Bold and the Beautiful and The Young and the Restless. Plus, we've got previews of what to expect next and even coverage of Primetime's best sudsers. Related story Young Restless Preview, Phyllis, Ashley and Nikki push Diane to her breaking point The bold and the beautiful Steffi had better watch out because she may soon be facing a new threat even more frightening than Sheila, and there's no telling what could happen when this truth comes out. If there's one thing Annika Noel says about her character, it's that she's one of the most forgiving people out there. But there's one betrayal, she acknowledges, that Hope may never be able to get over. Did People Magazine, of all things, just discover Bold Beautiful's next heartthrob? They may have, and he's already got a surprising soap connection. As Brooke weighs her options, check out the recap below, Catherine Kelly Lang made her grandbaby's lives a beach when the family took a detour for some fun in the sun. Wait, that's Zane. You won't believe how much Heather Tom's son grew when we weren't looking. In this week's column, Richard asks why the writers seem so determined to hurt Taylor, Steffi and Thomas, and predicts the worst is yet to come. Plus, Ridge just did something so awful it topped all his other awfulness. What went down last week, Deacon romanced Sheila, who was treated to a change of scenery and a slow dance. Bill put the moves on Brooke again, and Thomas tried to kiss Hope after the fashion show. She dodged his attempt and warned him it could never happen again. Liam apologized for ditching his wife on her big night, and Brooke was gobsmacked when Carter showed up with annulment papers from Ridge. Katie, Liam and Hope were also stunned by the move, but Steffi, Thomas, and Taylor were delighted. Ridge gave Brooke another chance to come clean about the CPS call and alluded to Thomas being the issue between them. In the end, Brooke signed the annulment papers, but vowed to find out exactly what Thomas did to end her marriage. Days of Our Lives talk about big news. During the annual Day of Days fan event, the soap rolled out one shocker after another. First came word that Christian Alfonso, Hope, Peter Reckle, Bo, and Victoria Conefold, Sierra, would all be returning. As if that weren't enough, they then rolled out an action-packed promo teasing big twists galore, all of which you can check out here. Days of Our Lives has gone through a lot of changes over the years, peacock, anyone, but it's true what they say, you can't keep a good soap down. So celebrate the show's 57th anniversary with us via this picture-filled gallery. Sorry, General Hospital fans, Steve Burden is returning to Days of Our Lives. And we've got the details here. Oh, Xander, 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 what are you doing? As we wait for the you-know-what to hit the fan with Susan's kidnapping, Paul Telfer has found his own, unique way to deal with the tension. As we wait for Eli to come home for the holidays, at least we got to catch up with Laman Arki when he shared wedding pics, along with a startling confession. Even as Days of Our Lives leaned into some familiar soap tropes, Curtis is excited in this week's column that the stories are finally taking off. Ava and EJ's war is getting ugly, Eric and Nicole are giving into their passion at the worst possible moment and we may finally learn what Chanel supposedly did. What went down last week, Abe and Paulina both won their elections, but their celebration was short-lived when Chanel was arrested on suspicion of murder. Eric and Nicole finally admitted their feelings for each other and reunited. But just as Nicole told Rafe he's been right about her feelings for Eric all along, Eric and Jada learned she was pregnant. After Xander kidnapped Susan, Ava demanded $20 million from EJ, who kidnapped Tripp in response. Ava turned to Steve for help. Bonnie discovered Susan in the shed, but Xander tied her up as well. With Anna's help, Johnny and Wendy learned the location of the pilot who flew Rolf out of town. 
Chad told Stephanie he was interested in her, but he didn't know if he'd ever be ready to move on from Abby. She understood and opened herself up to the possibility of romance with Alex. Chloe and Stefan decided to date, and Sunny grew sympathetic to a vulnerable Leo. General Hospital as Willow's cancer progresses to its end stage, she's pretty much down to one chance of survival now, finding her family. It looks like the truth about Nina is about to come out, and that can't be sitting well with Carly. But even if it does, there's no guarantee Nina can save her daughter. And if not, there'd only be one option, and person, left. Just when we thought we'd be getting the reunion of one of General Hospital's most beloved super couples, it looks like the show could end up giving us entirely new pairing, instead. It's been a long time coming, but it looks like fans will soon be getting that screen up we've all been waiting for. After being stuck for a long time, Kelly Thibault, Britt, opened up about her revelatory journey and what it feels like to be sober. Michael Blake Cruz, Rory, opened up about an experience that was a blessing, and a disappointment. But that doesn't mean he'd trade it for the world. Something downright amazing happened to Dustin this week as he realized that he was excited every day to tune in. Pretty much every episode was a winner, he writes in this week's column, and even the stories we saw coming from a mile away like Willow's bone marrow transplant are on fire. What went down last week, Liz told Finn the truth about her father, Reiko, and his late wife's tumble down the stairs, causing him to turn around and walk out on her. Esme escaped from her locked room in Windermere, and moments later Nicholas was attacked by the hook. Nicholas managed to recapture Esme, but not before Liz saw her and reported Esme back in town. After reading the DNA results, Cody lied to Mac and claimed he wasn't his son. Britt informed him that if he was Leopold's son then he may have a claim to Peter's necklace. Anna's escape attempt went wrong when Heather was added into the mix, and they both escaped after the van being driven by Dex crashed. Dex, though, was shot and landed on Joss' doorstep where she patched him up and hid him. Willow learned her leukemia had advanced to stage 4 and would need a bone marrow transplant. Finally, in prison, Cyrus warned Laura that Anna could be in danger from Olivia Jerome. The young and the restless whenever someone grows ill on a soap opera, it's almost always a surefire sign that there's a major story headed our way. And with Harrison's latest diagnosis, we've got the sinking feeling Kyle and Summer are about to have one heck of a bombshell dropped on them. Devin and Abby's romp may have been a bit of a shock, but the fact that fans had a lot to say about it most certainly was not. Sally may have made her choice this week, but something tells us she and Adam aren't quite done, though she may end up wishing they were. In the latest casting news, the show's bringing on a newcomer who may be exactly what Chelsea needs right now. Melissa Claire Egan got to see firsthand just how much Chelsea's story has been making a difference to folks, and it was probably in the last place she expected. In this week's column, Candace is all but certain that Audra's baby bombshell will turn messy. This is a soap, after all, as Devin and Abby's sex scandal just showed us, Young Restless is finally embracing the mess. What went down this week, Billy pulled Chelsea off the ledge when she attempted suicide and vowed to stand by her through her recovery, which didn't go over big with Lily. Nate accepted Victoria's job offer at Newman Media and was bewildered when Elena wasn't pleased. This left Sally boxing up her office and refereeing between Nick and Adam, who tried to blame his brother for the situation. Devin and Lily learned Nate had conspired with Victoria, which led to a heart-to-heart -heart and fond remembrances of Neil. Meanwhile, Diane suffered the consequences of hiding a secret when Kyle declared he may never trust her again, and Phyllis went into meltdown mode when Jack still blamed her for the drama. Will Ashley's plan to lure Tucker for information work? She put it into motion, so we'll soon find out.
In other news ABC tried pulling off one of the most dramatic resurrections ever seen on daytime, but not even their bold experiment turning loving into the city could save the soap. Peacock may have just shot itself in the foot with the backlash from their latest true crime venture. Sometimes, it's the brightest candles that burn out fastest. On the anniversary of his death from AIDS, we take a look back at an another world scene stealer who had such a heartbreakingly promising future. What's coming up? Now that you're all caught up on what went down last week, here's a glimpse of what's just around the corner. We hate to say it, but it looks like Bold Beautiful's Douglas may want to tread carefully this week as he of all people, confronts his dad about framing Brooke. Will he convince Thomas to change his course or just cause him to double down? Diane may finally reach the breaking point this week on Young Restless as she puts Ashley, Phyllis and Nikki on notice. Will she be able to turn the tables before they take her down? Take a look at our photo gallery covering some of the most upsetting real-life scandals ever to hit